The team at Telltale Games has always been good. Whether it was Sam and Max, or Monkey Island, or even Strong Bad, you could always rely on Telltale Games to make good games. They don't do that anymore. Now they make great games, and I'm not sure any are greater than this game. What was planted with Back to the Future, and blossomed with The Walking Dead, has grown into something incredible with The Wolf Among Us. Gorgeous, hypnotic, haunting. I'm not sure I've ever played an adventure game like this. One that has me so completely immersed in the story that I can't stop thinking about it, even after the credits have rolled. See, the game may end, but in The Wolf Among Us, the tension never does. So, in case you missed our review of the first episode, here's the story. The Wolf Among Us is an adventure game based on the comic series Fables. It plays Big B. Although, you probably know him as the Big Bad Wolf. Yeah, Huff Puff Blow Your House Down, same guy. See, the characters from our most beloved fairy tales have sort of given up that life. Now they live in New York, in a neighborhood called Fable Town. They're trying to move on and close the book on their past. But what they find is that the real world, it's no fairy tale. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. So now, the big bad wolf is the sheriff, a fable sworn to maintain law and order in a town where law and order might be the biggest fairy tales of all. And that's one of the coolest things about The Wolf Among Us, the contrast between the characters and the tone. I mean, this is a dark, violent, haunting game with talking toads and flying monkeys. It places your childhood dreams inside of a nightmare. Oh, that's enough. Mira, vanish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. So, uh, in episode one, the chapter began with a shocking murder. It ended with one that was even worse. But in episode two, we find out that things aren't always what they seem here in Fable Town. We're introduced to these things called glamours, magical spells that can make anyone look like anyone else. And as dark and twisted as the story already was, these glamours take things even further down the well. You know, without giving away any spoilers, it's kind of hard to talk about the story in any specifics, but suffice to say, it's just incredibly well written. And even though the story doesn't progress as much in this episode, it does take some shocking twists. And the final scene in particular, Bigby finally tracks down one of the murder scenes, and what he finds is just, uh, like I said, it takes things down an even darker road, and it sets things up brilliantly for episode three. So, how does the game play? Well, it's very similar to Telltale's The Walking Dead. It's technically an adventure game, but it's also got a lot of that interactive movie vibe, like Beyond Two Souls or Heavy Rain, but with more classic adventure game elements. So on occasion, you get to walk around a crime scene and examine clues, but for the most part, you're just talking and listening. I guess it's sort of like, you know, where a lot of games are about exploring a game world, The Wolf Among Us is about exploring yourself. Believe me, you find some pretty interesting stuff. Yeah, this shit'll kill ya. So, uh, gameplay, uh, at least in the traditional sense, is sort of minimal. The Wolf Among Us is more of an experience, driven by its story and presentation. And as amazing as the story is, presentation's every bit as good. Yes. The Wolf Among Us is absolutely this gorgeous. Is Colorful, stylish, almost relentlessly so. Every single scene looks like it was painstakingly crafted. And it's not the only game that's gone for the whole living comic book style, but I'm not sure any has ever done it better. And that presentation draws you even deeper. The amazing graphics and the perfect music, and this stuff serves to accentuate the story, and that really brings Fable Town to life. Look, I, I fell in love with episode one, and episode two just blew me away. And actually, I'm playing the latest episode as we speak, and it's even better. The bottom line is, if you liked Telltale's incredible version of The Walking Dead, yes. you're gonna love this. It's not quite as emotional or relatable, but it's even cooler and more stylish. And honestly, it might be even better. It's Smoke and Mirrors, episode two of The Wolf Among Us. Man, Telltale. My, what a beautiful game you have. <laughs> Please. <laughs>